Hey guys, my name is Stokens, and together I'm going to be showing you the top 5 best hiding and trick spots in The Last of Us Remastered multiplayer. So without further ado, let's get into it and roll the first clip. Counting down in 5th place, we have University. It's a great favourite and one of the vets who many of the older players are like, and is mainly situated around a mid to long range map. Great for hunting rifles, semi-autos, or the rest of it. Has some really nice spots in here, a couple may, you may not even know about, and quite a few good hiding spots as well. So the first spot I want to show you guys is right in this corner, just here. It may look absolutely awful and terrible, but you guys would be seriously surprised by how many times this actually saved me and how effective this is for defending your lockbox during interrogation. That door I just aimed at, depending on which side of the map you spawn on and where the lockbox spawns, most of the time, if you spawn on the bottom side of the map, it's going to spawn in front of you by that door. You are open by two left flanks right here, but if you and your team are holding down the box room just up here, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. We're going to change John's point of view here. As you can see, I'm actually quite difficult to spot in here. I would recommend staying standing up if you're defending the lockbox, and also, with that left flank open, if your team's holding it down, you can make a swift, speedy getaway if everything goes south. Moving on. Next what we have is this box just up top of the right here. It's pretty close to spawn and favoured by most FN players. It's actually a fairly good spot to stand on top of a crate. I'm making it pretty exposed, but the kind of shots you can hear from up here are quite ridiculous. As you can see here, it's perfect for watching the box as John comes around here and you pop him with a headshot. And also you'd be surprised that she covered draft from up here. We're going to change back to my point of view again <laughs> and see John. But uh, if you're walking down here, with the amount of stuff that's actually going up in the game, the shot's sort of messed up here, but if John stayed perfectly still, you would not have seen the red name, and you would not know it's there. Also, about 8% of the time during the game, your eyes are fixated on what's in front of you, and not necessarily around near the tops of the screen. You'd actually be surprised how much you miss just from not looking above you or around. So as you can see, John's pretty well covered in there, and it's a pretty good, fairly good spot, but moving on. We have this little sort of map stand box thing at the back of the map here, and as you can see, you can headshot John through the top of it. You may think you're pretty open, people can shoot your feet and whatnot, but the reason why this spot is so effective is that as you can see here, you can see the person through the end of the map box, but from the garden box that John was just in, the one that I'm in at the moment, you cannot see anything at all because he's completely blocked by the tree, and the tree does a fairly good job of preventing the scope there as well. Pretty nice spot, nice little tip, you may know about it, you may not, but next spot. Okay, now I don't think I've ever seen anybody use this spot, but it actually looks like a fairly good one. If you stay perfectly still, your red cross stairs will go away, don't worry, you're not going to show up like a sore thumb. But just behind the bush here, in that little corner, John's run away from me, and then he gets shipped. <laughs> but moving on to the next spot. Okay, so the final spot for university is through these railings right next to spawn, just here. I don't think I've ever seen anybody utilize this in an actual game, but you can shoot through them. Yep, I know, right? <laughs> you can shoot through the railings. Now, this may seem fairly obvious, but I'm just trying to teach you guys to utilize the entire space of the map. Like, don't be confined to a certain area. Just use your head, run around, find new spots. Okay, in fourth place, ladies and gentlemen, we have the dam. Tommy's dam from the story, a great map. And you can get a headshot from Spawn standing in this box just here. You see John down there? Steady your scope a little bit, and you can shoot. Now, please bear in mind, this does work both ways. You can headshot from the other side of the map, as you can see here. But I'm going to roll this clip again and show you something kind of cheeky and something that probably needs to be patched. So as you can see here, I'm crouched behind this box, my head is completely in cover, and you can see John headshot me. How did he pull that off? Did he shoot the top of my head? Did he shoot through the box? Was there bullet penetration? Actually, no. This is what happened. Okay, so you know in the first clip I showed you where I headshot John? John's actually crouching behind the box. Because of this game's render distance and the way objects pop in, if the object hasn't popped in because it's so far away, physically it is not there. So that's how John shot me. The box doesn't exist. There is no spoon. <laughs> Moving on. Okay guys, so I didn't just want this video to be a uh, how many cracks can you shoot through with a hunting rifle fest. I want to show you some Molotov spots as well. As you can see that little V-shape there, you want to aim from the other side of that with a Molotov to get John hiding behind the box. It takes a little bit of practice. But if you do, you can pull it off pretty much every time. So as you can see here, I'm standing on top of the box, trying to get my aim just right through the little V. And if you do, right there, find the sweet spot. And throw them all top, of, you should be able to get some behind the box. Of course, it's going to be more effective with the Explosion Expert. But there you go, a sweet little multiple spot, get some people hiding on the dam. Moving on now to one of my favourites, and one of the probably most underrated spots on this map is shooting through underneath the dam. Indeed you can, headshot people through that little gap. 
When I say this in this game, the geometry is super accurate, as in you can through shoot cracks. If you can see somebody through objects or surface, 9 times out of 10, you will be able to shoot them. There are certain exceptions, but with a little bit of practice and with the keen eye to spot these kind of things, you should be finding new spots all the time. I've been playing this game for over two years now, and I'm still finding new things every single day. Moving on. Right here we have a bitch corner, but where is the bitch hiding in this little corner? Not somewhere you may think to look, but it's actually kind of obvious. You just see underneath these logs here, hiding close in the cover. Now, this may seem like a fairly obvious spot, but like I said before, People are fairly oblivious when it comes to sniffing things out unless it's right in front of their nose. Just be sure to look in every little nook and every little cranny if you're looking for the last man, if he's hiding, or if you just want to stay away from the enemy team. Next area that we have just up on top of this rock. As you can see, you can see all the way down just to the river box, and you can headshot people as they're just coming out from around the back, or running up from the river box trying to get to the car box, or just anywhere around that general direction of the map. It's a great spot for taking people out. As you see here, I'm struggling to execute John. Be careful, because you can slip off the edge. But it's a fair and low spot. You're quite well covered from here. But just keep an eye out for snipers on top of the dam and the bridge. In third place, ladies and gentlemen, we have Checkpoint. And now, this is kind of a hard map to choose, because, well, it is one of the best maps in the game. But in terms of sniping spots, it is fairly rich. But there's not many that tips and tricks on here. So as you can see, John just pulled the look look or the van shot, aka the look look. You can actually see the glass in the van. Now we do have Hawkeye on, but you don't necessarily need it. If you aim and look through the glass of the van, it is semi-transparent, you actually can see through it. And it's a fairly decent shot. Next up we have shooting across the checkpoint into the spawn. Another spot favoured by many FM players is the dumpsters give you a little, just that extra bit more of elevation to get them headshots. A very nice spot, kind of cheeky. Bear in mind, you can shoot through the barrels that I just ran past on my left too. It's another quite nice spot. Then we have another hiding space behind this jersey barrier right here. It's a big concrete barrier. You can shoot into the back of spawn, and you may look like you're exposed here. But actually, the majority of you, actually all of your body, is hidden by the concrete barrier. You see it from another perspective here in just a sec. If I run out here, John's staying still. I cannot see him at all. And to be honest, I really would not expect him to be there in the first place. Here we have another hiding spot, kind of obvious, but behind the stairs in the fire station at the back of the map. Another great bitch corner. John just got wrecked with a headshot. And since it's quite dark in here, if you don't have the gamma turned up on your TV, you're probably not going to see people hiding in the back of that. The final two spots we have on top of these sandbags. And because of elevation, if people say, oh, how would you headshot me? I was behind cover. If you're higher up than someone, you can see their backpack and just the tip of their head. That's all you need in order to down them. So before you go calling bullshit, <laughs> just remember. You can see John just molotov himself there, but like I said before, standing on top of stuff to give you just a little bit more elevation you can make the difference between winning or losing a gunfight. In second place, ladies and gentlemen, we have Lakeside. As you can see here, you can actually shoot through the cabin up into the resort house. Pretty nice spot, pretty efficient. Get some nice headshots through there. You have glass penetration on Lakeside as well. As you can see, you can shoot through the car. It's another pretty nice spot, shown to me by my friend Jesse. A quick tip is you can actually climb up into this little house just from the outside by running to the corner and mashing X. Give it a couple tries, you should get it. And now we have the ultimate bitch corner. After many failed attempts, me and my friend John have probably found the ultimate, most ultimate bitch corner. But where is he? Where's John hiding? You see him yet? You see him yet? Well, if you didn't see him, I'd point him out to you. He is actually behind the tree, right in this corner. I was seriously surprised by how well this hiding spot worked. But there you go, bitch corner. So, this is a piece of orange grass, and this is me standing in a blizzard. But where is John? Where is John hiding? Has he found a bitch corner? Has he found a new line of sight? John's actually found a new line of sight, I don't know if you see where he is yet. He's actually behind this tree. Now, I know there was a blizzard in the way, but with or without the blizzard, you can still see through it. It's an amazing spot. I hit some crazy headshots off here the other night. And just all around, great sort of area to go to. Like, Lakeside is such a big map, I need, can't stress it enough. You need to utilize all of the map space. Now, here's another bitch corner behind the tree. You get quite a few last mans here. Not many people, they may not know about it, but like I said, utilize all that space. You should find some pretty retarded spots to hide in. You can shoot through the glass on the truck in the middle. Now, I do believe there's actually no glass here, but it does look throwables. There's an invisible barrier, so watch out for that. And vice versa, you can shoot through the cabin over to the logs over there. And in first place, we have Billstown. Now, this was kind of hard to choose, since I didn't want this video to turn in how many cracks can you snipe through. 
but just all around great hiding spots and maps and some nice tips. So I brought down to Bill's Town, this first place, hope you guys like the tips and some of the spots I can give you. So first what we got is just behind this bush here. <laughs> Pretty obvious, but utilizing things like shrubbery, bushes and all that is a great sort of factor to implement into the game and into your own gameplay, just sort of stay hidden. But the main I want to show you is behind this bush right here. It may look super, super obvious, just sort of hidden there, maybe my backpack sticks out, but you wouldn't believe it, you are actually super well hidden behind this thing. You can see here, I can barely see John like, crouching behind this thing. It is an incredible spot. What you really got to look out for is being shot from the front and keeping an eye on some of the flanks. Apart from that, overall great spot. I guarantee no one's going to see you there if you stay still, don't shoot anyone. And there you go. The next spot we have is the original Bitch Corner. If you don't know why it's called the Bitch Corner, I believe Valkyrie sent one of his streams, the guys in the back of the church, in his Bitch Corner. So they have it, the original Bitch Corner on Billstown. Right here we have a pretty cool tip. You can actually shoot underneath the truck in the middle of Billstown. That's what it looks like from another perspective. You can see how open you actually are from down there. Perspective plays a huge part in this game, I can't stress it enough. Another little tip is you can shoot through the glass on Sammy's. Yep, more bullet penetration, pretty nice, and it is transparent. Another spot we have is shooting through the pallets right at the back of the spawn. Down one turret. Get John with a headshot there. I think I actually execute him through the car here. Yeah, dude. If you're wondering how to get your crosshair precise, instead of actually aiming and moving it, it's actually to just let it drift and get the shot. Here's John shooting me from that same spot, different angle. Here's probably one of the favorite spots we found here. It's shooting from back in the room inside the garage. Just like sort of real sniper would in real life, shooting back in the room, out, that angle, no that narrow sort of choke point in front of you, because it's so small, makes you a such harder target to hit. So I can't stress that enough. Shooting from back in the room, always safer than head on out the front. And if you ever had to deal with a guy up on this balcony right here, you can just climb up the front of the truck and shoot through the windows. I never really thought of doing this myself until last night when we were uh, recording this. But uh, yeah, there you go, just climb the front of the truck. And the final spot on Billstown is the one that everybody probably knows about, but shooting from up on the balcony into Sammy's. You can actually cover the entire bridge from here as well. It's a rather nice spot, just bear in mind, because your head is sticking out of cover washer there. It's pretty, um, it's kind of a risky spot to be in, but if people don't see you coming, you can get some pretty nice saves from that top spot. It's a nice few interrogations from down there. Well, that concludes the top five hiding and spots for The Last of Us Remastered's multiplayer. If you uh, feel as if I left anything out, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And I don't normally do this, but if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel because there's new content coming out of this channel all the time and these videos seriously take a long time to make. This video on its own, if I left all the filler in, you'd be looking at a video that took over, I'd say just two hours alone to record trying to find all these spots. So I spent a lot of time on this. If you guys like what you see, please subscribe because it really does mean a lot and leave a like. And also I'd like to give a very special thank you to John Schaefer. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Ms. Tokens. If you've got anything to say, leave it in the comment section below. I want to thank you so much for watching again. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.